Mm -hmm. Guys, it's your boy Dom and welcome back to the channel. This is how I ghost with someone. So this all started back in my freshman year of high school and this happened in the second half of my freshman year of high school. And we all know what happened in that second semester. We all know the quarantine in 2020 happened and that plays a factor in this story. So this person and I got into a little talking phase, maybe a few weeks or a few few days before this little quarantine thing happened, right? We were really close. We were talking a lot and everything like that. We actually shared interests and we were actually have we actually had a pretty good relationship. Her friends liked me. A lot of people liked me with her and everything and thought we were cute and whatnot. But there were some red flags that was happening that I noticed and that played a factor into why I did what I did. Let me give you one red flag. She got into fights. Now, anybody who gets in a fight is a red flag, right? I mean, it depends on what the fight was over. Now, I can't remember what the extent of this particular fight she had was over, but it was probably over something really frivolous, something that had no meaning in next in the next few days, months, weeks, whatever, especially the next few years because nobody remembers because of what just what happened over these past two years really that should have been a red flag to me and i should have just dropped it like instantly my friends were telling me to drop it even my mama was telling me to drop it you know what i'm saying like if your mama's telling you to drop it you should listen but what did i do not listen because because i i genuinely like this girl and we were talking we were actually having actual good conversations and whatnot and uh then the quarantine of 2020 happened and we couldn't see each other at all and she was already suspended for a week because of this fight so i wasn't even able to see her that whole week leading up to the quarantine and so our relationship was primarily over text and phone calls you know so the the relationship was already steadily going down from just from really good to okay to maybe to bad and i mean by bad i mean like these conversation the conversations her and i would have weren't the same as we would before before she was suspended and before everything else really at this point i'm like what am i gonna do now like what am i gonna do now and so over this quarantine i then find out other stuff about her right that she's a little loco loco and that she her mom's a little loco loco too and i'm like who what am I going to do here? My friends are telling me to drop it. You know what I'm saying? My mom's telling me to drop it. But at this point, I'm like, what am I? I don't know what to do at this point because this is the first relationship I've ever. I This is like the first type of relationship I've had in a while. And I just and I don't know. And I didn't know what to do at this point. Like since we're not seeing each other at all, since nothing is going on between her and I. Right. The relationships have become the, the, the talking has become dry than before when we were in front of each other face to face and before this little quarantine thing happened. I mean, at this point I was getting to know her. At that point I knew a lot about her. I was getting to know her. You know, I knew a lot about her family. She knew about my family. Like it was, and I didn't know what to do. So I did what the only thing I knew what to do. And that was ghost her. So what I did was I stopped talking to her. I did I deleted her number off my phone. I stopped talking to her. Now she did text me a few times, but I never really responded. And it couldn't say I read her messages because she had an Android. So I could just look at her messages to see if whatever she said I could just look at and she could not see if I saw it or not. And so I did ghost her. Uh, I did, I was fighting the urge to like really talk to her, but really over like the red flag that, sh that was shown bef right before the quarantine, the quarantine and red flag shown to me during the quarantine. I mean, I can't say all of the red flags on camera, you know what I'm saying? But over this span of time, I'm like, I can't do this you know what i'm saying like and i don't know what she's gonna do if i just tell her up front i can't talk to you anymore you know what i'm saying like i can't tell her up front i can't i i 
what am I, what do you want me to do? I can't tell her up front or uh, on over text because that just doesn't seem right. You know what I'm saying? Because we can't see each other. We, I can't call her. I can't text her because the meaning gets lost in calls and texts. You actually need to see the person's face and you need to feel their emotion. And without that, we can't really make a final goodbye, whatever. So I did ghost her and I did not talk to her until this year. And actually, her and I are still cool. You know, we still talk to each other, but there is a little animosity when it comes to her. When she's talking to me, I can feel a little animosity, you know, but really, to be honest with you, I have no regrets. I feel like my ghosting was justified as there was really nothing left in the relationship to actually salvage in a way. But yeah man that's been the video it's a little i know the video is a little all over the place but i'm just i'm i'm really tired right now i got class tomorrow y'all you guys will be getting a vlog i promise you a day in the life of dime vlog okay wake up at 6 a.m brush my teeth take a shower eat breakfast go to school take school whatever you guys will get that okay and that will be filmed tomorrow so if you guys enjoyed the video why not go ahead like it comment and subscribe I mean, you could do really what you want. I can't really force you, but you do you, you know? So it's been your boy, Dime, man. God bless. Peace out. 100. Bam! Ha ha. Yes, sir.